John Folau. What do you think of him and uh, do you think he looks like Israel out there? Yeah, I was just sitting there watching the TV, he flicked on the 20s and uh, I just saw two touches. He, he got the ball and skipped to the outside and if anything I thought he looked sharper than his, than his uh, I suppose his older brother. He looked incredibly um, agile for the size of the kid. So that was a great sign and then their first try he, he got a ball and a real nice set of quick hands and that also said a lot to me about that he's got a lot of skill as well. I never quite captured what he was like in defence. But um, and I never saw the whole game, so um, I couldn't couldn't be totally confident saying, telling you he's going to be at Israel's standard, and I'd hate to compare him to Israel. But everything I saw um, was promise, and I'm, I'll be really interested in watching him this week. I'll be out there at the game, so I'll be very interested in watching him this week. Just quickly, like just off the back of that. Um do you think it's kind of turning into, like, you see Greg Inglis, some amazing quick hands. Do you think it's kind of turning into a bit of a need of being able to get rid of the ball as soon as you get it? That really does get ahead of a team, doesn't it? Like, yeah, well, the thing is, teams mostly spend more time defending. If you're defending less points, it puts less pressure on your attack. So there'll be less need to, for those pressure passes, but... You need to be able to nail opportunities. You only get so many a game, and you're finding those sweepers that are coming around the back, their skill level has to be at a level where you've got to nail situations and you only get a couple. So only the best, only the best can do it. And centers, fullbacks, um, even back rollers, pretty much part of their luggage now, part of their gear is, is that, to be able to have that skill be able to move the ball on extremely quick under pressure and and uh, John Folau showed that.